Hi, I'm Sean Warren with Sean Warren Fine Art and Painting with Peeps, and today I'm going to show you how to do this acrylic painting of cookies and milk. Right here, I'm putting in the horizon line with a piece of vine charcoal. And now I'm adding a little bit of orange and Hansa yellow. Uh, that may be cad yellow, I don't recall. And now I'm sketching in the shape of the glass. I put the background on the top, the dark area uh, is, is just black. Sometimes they do use black. This is um, a painting where I did use black. I like using the vine charcoal because it's really soft and it erases very easily. But on the top, I have to use something lighter so it'll show up. So I used um, just a regular charcoal pencil up there. I'm putting in my first coat of titanium white. And I'm pretty much following the shape of the object. Um, when I do my horizontal strokes, you'll see that I'm following the curve of the glass. And then after I do a vertical stroke, I go back over and I redefine the horizontal curve of the object. You always want to follow the shape of your object. And um, there's nothing wrong with turning it upside down if that helps you um, to paint your object better. I frequently um, turn it all different directions. Sometimes I even work with it on my lap. I'm sorry you can't see the top of that. I will move that down in a minute. Top of the milk, you'll notice, is not a straight line. It's bumpy because it has foam and bubbles on top of it. And I will be putting in another coat of titanium white over that black area that's showing through. And now I'm defining um, the top of the glass with white. And I'm using dry brush, uh, just a little bit of titanium white on the brush um, to, to form the reflections in the glass. You don't want to paint this over solid, you just want to use a little bit of paint on the brush so that you can see that background and it makes it look transparent. adding the shadow areas in the bottom of the glass. Now I'm adding the white to the bottom of the glass. And I went ahead and painted over the middle area right above the bottom of the glass. You'll see the area between the lines. Now I'm painting it in in yellow. It was easier just to paint the whole thing white and then go over it again in the background color rather than try to um, paint all around that shape. So the glass is transparent in that area. Okay, now I'm putting on a second layer of titanium white and defining the shape of the glass a little better. I'll continue to define the shape of the glass as I work on it. So the colors I've used uh, are listed below. I've used um, cad yellow and cad orange, uh, Hansa yellow, Mars black titanium white, So now I am putting in a uh, little bit of a black edge along the top. Now I'm doing the shadow underneath the reflection on the rim. And 
There you go. Now you can see it much better. Putting in the highlights on the bottom of the glass. My reference um, was actually a painting of milk and cookies that I got off Paint My Photo, and I will put the credit down below and a link to it if you'd like to use that photo. I would have preferred to paint directly off of a photo, um, but I didn't have one available for this, and I really, I really like the painting. I like painting whimsical subjects. I, I like to think of myself as a painter of Americana. So I think Oreos are an iconic part of American culture. And I just thought that was kind of cool. Something fun to paint. So I'll tell you this story about the Oreos. So I had got the idea to paint these Oreos and I found the photo and while I was painting it I got really hungry for Oreos and I, and I did this painting in a couple of sittings there was about I would say about a month between when I started it and when I finished it um, I did it in two sittings but they were spaced about a month apart so anyway so I'm painting this the first time you know when I was doing it the first sitting and I was looking at those Oreos and I don't really even like Oreos and I'm thinking man that really sounds good so I went and bought a big box of Oreos at Costco. And so for the last several weeks, I've been eating the Oreos. And tonight, oh, this afternoon, I finished out the last of the Oreos. Right now I'm tracing over the shape of the Oreos there. I think I would have really benefited from an actual photo um, especially when it came to the Oreos. So to finish my Oreo story, so when I sat down to paint tonight, I had finished off the last of the Oreos about three hours before. And as I was painting those Oreo shapes, I'm like, I really need an Oreo for reference. And then I went and looked and I had eaten all the Oreos. So I had no Oreo. I ate my, my Oreo reference <laughs> material, so I didn't have anything to go by, so I had to go by the painting. So I, I think I could have done better on the cookies, and I may do this again, but um, I'm still pretty happy with it. And it was fun. It was a really fun painting to do. I'll probably be teaching this at one of my painting with peeps parties. Right now I'm using a just regular Mars black to fill in the shape of the cookies. The smudging that you see on the milk part of the glass is from the vine charcoal. Um, when I went and put the cookies down to trace those over again, it got smeared, and so I'll be touching that up later on in the video. So I think next time I paint food, I should paint something I don't like to eat like a Big Mac or something maybe. <laughs> that way there's there's no problem with me eating my my reference material. I did that with fortune cookies one time too. I started to paint the fortune cookies and by the time I was done with the painting I'd eaten the fortune cookies. So now I am putting in the little bubbles. I am using um, gray, which is um, black, and titanium white. I'm putting in some little uh, 
little ripples there for foam and I'm putting some texture in with real thick titanium white so there's a little bit of shading going on in there and then I'm going to add some more little bubbles that's what I'm doing right there um, my hand is in the way and I apologize for that this is actually the second sitting you'll notice that the video changed a little bit so Putting in the, the white frosting filling on the Oreos, the cream filling. The most difficult part of this painting is painting the cookies. Okay, now I'm defining the top of the cookie a little bit, putting in some of those little swirlies in the edge where the light's catching, and some of the little decoration along the edge. And I am just using a real, a light, real light gray there. putting in some of the little swirly design on the top of the Oreo. If I would have had a real Oreo to look at, I would have put the letters in. So I, I suggest that if you do use this painting or the painting off of Paint My Photo as a reference, I would suggest that you have some Oreos on hand too. <laughs> It'll always help you to have the real thing. I generally paint from photos and not from life. Um, it's, it's easier for me to get the image on. Even if I sketch it, it's easier for me to judge the shapes when they're uh, two-dimensional shapes. I have been practicing um, my painting from life, though. I do plein air painting. I started doing that this summer. So that's good practice for me, um, painting from real life. So I'm just sketching in the shape of the top of the cookie so I can start putting in the decorations along the edge to define each individual cookie. I'm putting in the little edge decorations, the little swirlies in the middle. So my kitty cat is sitting next to me on my desk and she's watching the video. I have a house full of animals. I have three cats and a dog. My dog weighs about 100 pounds. And he always hangs out in my studio with me. If you visit my website, seanwarrenfineart.com, you can see a painting that I painted of my dog, and his name is Bucky. So I'm just, I'm kind of filling in so that there's not quite so much cream in the cookies. I'm putting in the shadow. 
and I will tell you right up that I put this shadow in and I decided I didn't like it. So I put it in again later, so I'll show you how to fix things when you mess them up. <laughs> I just felt like this shadow was a little dark. And I'm going in and fixing where the smudges were, the charcoal smudges. And adding some more highlights. One of the last things I do to a painting is to add highlights to it and then I go and I, I usually darken the shadows up a little bit. I like to have some good contrast. This whole painting took me about two hours, and I, I spent about an hour each sitting. Adding some more little bubbles and some little shadows up there in the milk. Mm, I didn't like the shape of that cookie down there, so Yellow won't cover well, so I had to put some white down first, and then I'll add some more yellow over top of it. You can see at the top there along the horizon where I add a little orange. Orange doesn't cover very well either. Orange and yellow are pretty transparent, and acrylics in general are, are quite transparent. So I'm just going through and, and looking it over and finding things that need to be touched up or fixed a little bit. There I am, filling in. And I decided I wanted a little brighter color too, so I added some cad orange and some Hansa yellow. And then I'm thinking I'm done at this point. And then I've changed my mind, so. <laughs> Those cookies on the bottom didn't look right to me. Um, the bottom cookies look smaller than the top cookies, so I've gone through and I'm making the cookies a little bigger. And just kind of um, working with the shape of them. And trying to d differentiate so you can see the difference between each cookie. So you can see where one cookie starts and the other st stops. Okay, so maybe I'm done now. I'm putting the date. <laughs> uh, unfortunately not. That shadow's got to be changed. So still work in the shadow. Yeah, I don't think so. No, 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 no. <laughs> when the paper towels doesn't work, use the finger. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to get desperate now. So I've um, wet a paper towel and I am rubbing off. As long as that's not real dry, um, it'll rub off. And I just put it on there. I'd say it hasn't been on there more than about five minutes, so there's no problem taking it off. 
So I, I lightened the shadow up a lot on it. Yeah, that one's got to go too. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yeah, that's much better. Much better. Looks more natural. So there you go. There's the finished painting. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you'll come back and visit again soon. Thanks for watching today. Please visit SeanWarrenFineArt.com or any of these social media sites. I've also included my contact information in the links below. I'll be adding new video weekly, so please subscribe to my channel so you'll be sure not to miss a thing.